Theodore remained emotionless as the rear hull exploded into a flaming wreck. His artificial programming kicked in as he instinctively manned the guns on the Viper-class ship he had spent his entire creation on. The pirate fleet was numerous, they were outmanned and outgunned, but he held his post as the ship around him was torn apart by the unrelenting fire of the savage raiders. The ship's alarms began to sound, notifying all crew to abandon her. Theodore, still emotionless, made his way to the escape pods and sent himself crashing down to the unknown planet below. everyone, Karnasa Games here and welcome back to the Kingdom of Beck and we are now on episode 11 so we are plowing our way into the double digits of this series. Now one thing that I really really want to do in this episode is to really focus on getting that new settlement that we set up. I think it was called Dice's Grace if I recall correctly. Yes, what we want to do is we actually want to make that useful. And of course, another thing which I have been saying for the past couple of episodes as well is to get the entirety of this perimeter wall built up. And hopefully, as I have said before, that will get done this episode, but who knows? I would have thought it would have been done by now, but obviously this being RimWorld, we have had issues come, come in our way to stop us from actually doing that. But anyway, Dice's Grace. That's what we want to talk about right now. What we want to do is get some silver. We need silver to upgrade that colony. I've had a look at the at the kind of Wikipedia or I've, 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 I've done a little bit of research into what we can actually do with our settlements and we need silver to basically upgrade it. It can provide us with an army. It is self-sustaining and all of that but it can provide us with troops and all of those kind of useful things once we've got it kind of up and running, which we don't really at the moment. Last episode, we just founded it and left it be. And another thing, right, as this episode starts, let's get back over here and talking to these traders that have come along, because I don't think I did anything with these last episode. So let's see let's get rebecca out out from doing her research which she so lovingly is doing at the moment and really helping us out no beck we need you to chat to these people because i i honestly can't remember if i went up to these and talked to them last episode or not i probably should have looked at what i did last episode before coming straight into this but no i am not prepared i am most not prepared so let's have a look what kind of thing are they selling? Well, they're selling us Brachiosaurs, which they are very, very, very expensive. I don't think we can afford those dinosaurs. I, it, this, this once again, is definitely going to be a more of what can we sell them? And it doesn't look like they actually want an awful lot from us. They will buy our components and they will buy our grilled steak. I am getting a little bit of deja vu here, so I may have spoken to these already. And yeah, no, it looks like that we can't really sell anything to them. So I am sorry, negotiator, Valerie. Valerie, I'm sorry, but we are not going to be trading with you today. Beck, get back and do that research. I can't even remember what we are making her research at the moment, but she's almost done, which is something that's going to be really cool. We can do whatever, yes, <laughs> whatever she is researching. We can, we can use it in hopefully useful ways. And Theodore, our newest recruit, why are you placing all of these hops down? Not in a stack. That seems to be rather silly. Come on, look, there, there is an awful lot of just separate stacks of hops here. They could all be done in one. Come on, come on, man, Theodore, pilot. Have, have a little bit of a brain. I don't think you do have a brain. <laughs> you are a 
simple-minded android. Him being a tier 1 android, yes, he's simple-minded, he kind of won't ever really break as far as I'm aware because he doesn't have the mental capacity to. He is basically going to be a complete dog's body and we are just going to make him haul and do all of the kind of useless jobs that we can really set upon him. Let's have a look and see what he's actually good at. Well, shooting, he seems to be very, very good at shooting. So we definitely need to equip him with a weapon. So let's have a look at the machining table and see if we can make anything decent. I am going to guess not really at the moment, just because we've not got that research into making better better equipment but there we go we finished research on gun turrets so let's go let's go into the research screen now and i think what we want to do rim rim filler is definitely something that i want to focus on because we need that power that we can we can generate from from mining mining drilling for oil we need to drill for oil and then we can kind of use that for or useful purposes so let's get drill for oil and we will kind of make our way let's head down to synth thread and then that way once again now we have got a rather large amount of different things that we can use and we can research so we don't have to come back and look into the research screen every time that we want to do something different we've got a we've got a nice chain of events that are going to lead us to that synth thread i'm assuming that's going to be something clothing related because i know like beck obviously she is wearing she is wearing some synth thread button down shirt so i think it might be another way of producing that kind of stuff but that research will get done we will Allow our way towards getting that oil and yes it's something that I'm really kind of looking forward to doing because it would be nice these 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 solar panels and the wind turbines they they are doing their job for now but obviously when we want to expand this great castle we are going to need to have better ways of producing power and it would look very cool if we have some kind of like oil fields just out and about all over this place just drilling for oil really kind of harvesting this world of its natural resources and pumping it out and causing potentially global warming and all of that we we all know that oil isn't particularly good for the climate of a planet i mean take our planet for example and i'm not going to delve into anything like that because that seems to be a rather dodgy political subject that maybe best to avoid on a rimworld let's play video but you know we kind of we're, we're gonna we're gonna take that oil and we're gonna we're gonna use it for our faction's advantage and once again i seem to chat all the way through the night that night didn't look particularly dark that may be why oh and there we go the caravan they have decided that as we are not going to trade to them, they have decided to go away. I would have thought they would have gone away a little bit sooner. But yes, the the outside perimeter walls, it does look like we are actually getting a bit of that done. Because now we have people coming in and crafting blocks. And we have a mad needle roll. A local needle roll has gone mad. It will attack everyone it sees. I think this happened last episode as well. I'm fairly sure this is the second one of these that we've had come after our colony. Not to worry. We will get Agent Agent, the magnificent bodyguard. Look at him go. We will get him to run over to that needle roll and attack him. Attack him, attack her. I don't know if the needle roll has a gender. It, Agent will go and shoot him up and hopefully prevent anything too serious happening from the happening from happening to the colony there we go that needle roll went down very quickly indeed that was hardly a threat at all and of course because agent has given a little bit of damage we can't set our speed to fast but there we go we're gonna set it to three times speed and watch everyone go around and do their business so Yes, we do. Oh, yes, I just I've just realized we have started research into that synth thread stuff. Not not synth thread, you know, Rimmerfella. We're going to start getting the Rimmerfella up. That means I can't really produce anything better on here at the moment. But let's have a look and see what we can make, because 
I mean, a bolt action rifle might be useful for Theodore. Theodore currently does not have a weapon at all, and yeah, he he definitely could do with one. We we need everyone to be armed. We we are a little bit precariously kind of positioned in the fact that our defenses aren't very strong at the moment. And one thing that I want to do is definitely get some gun turrets in here. Maybe we can place a trap down as well. As soon as this perimeter wall is done. Oh, and it looks like the east side of the perimeter wall is done. But yes, no, we need to get some traps down. We need to make this kill box actually functional and really you know, useful rather than just being a little bit of a square box where we try and coerce raiders through. No, we need to fill it to the brim with deadly weaponry, explosive IEDs, traps, anything and everything that we can get our hands on to, to make our colony a little bit of a safer place. Well, overnight, it would appear that Theodore has been inspired to move around a little bit quicker, so that's nice considering I think he is primarily being assigned to hauling that that well that's what he seems to be doing at the moment so yes that's nice thank you Theodore for increasing your movement speed that's gonna be uh, really really helpful and beneficial but we also got this quest active Seba's collection of fortune so let's have a quick look and see what they want or what they're going to offer Seba prime counselor of agreed Concord of Fenner has informed us of a collection of valuable items worth $675 not far from us. The collector collector the collection consists of a legendary revolver. Seba says that there may be an unknown threat. Oh no. Um well a revolver would be nice. Obviously the whole unknown threat thing could be potentially dangerous so I don't think I'm really gonna bother with that at the moment because once again we're not really prepared to actually leave the settlement we don't have package survival meals or anything like that we can't really sustain anyone on a long journey so no I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm not gonna bother going out and kind of putting my colonists in harm's way at the moment not not until we are a little bit more prepared but Let's have a look at production. There was something that I wanted to build up. Oh yes, no, it wasn't production. Let's go into MISC and I think it's in MISC. Do I have to research it? I am looking for the orbital trade beacon and stuff like that. So we get, so we get the ships come over and we can actually kind of use them. I think I might have to research it. I thought it came standard with a crash landed colony but obviously not no we are definitely going to have to research that so that's another thing that we need to get down but whilst i'm talking about this let's actually make some turrets because we really could do we really could do with some of these just for a little bit of defense and i fairly certain we have the 200 steel and six components to spare so we can build those there Another thing, let's put a little power switch down there as well, and we will connect. We will connect the power conduit. Um, I'm not sure if I want that there, actually. We will connect the power conduit, and we can switch it so that these turrets aren't active all the time, because they are, they are obviously going to be a large drain on our resources if they are active all the time, not our resources, our power production, which we don't seem to, these batteries are running out rather alarmingly quickly. We want, we want to try and conserve as much energy as we possibly can because yes, it would be a real shame if we were to lose power in all of here again and lose, well, not particularly lose anything, but we, we like it all lit up. We like it being cool inside because outside it is almost 40 degrees centigrade. So it it is rather warm. Let's uh, try and keep our colonists as happy as possible. I keep saying colonists this episode. I've said it before and I will probably say it again. They are our subjects. They are Queen Rebecca's subjects. They are not just mere colonists. No, they are something more. They belong to the mighty nation, the kingdom of Beck. They are Beck's loyal subjects. They are not just colonists. Let's get that straight. I need to really, really kind of throw that down. 
And, oh great, that's something that we, yes, that's not brilliant. We have had a solar flare. So obviously all of our electronics are now down. So having all of that power doesn't really help at the moment because, well, it doesn't work. The sun has caused something to, to break. And what is this? I've never actually seen this before. This is completely new to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this was added in the 1.1 update or if this is a mod, but let's have a look. An armorer in one of your settlements contacts you. Oh, okay, so this is part of Empire. Oh, cool, right. He explained that he has been struck with great inspiration and requests silver for supplies to create you armor worthy of your empire. He plans to give it to you as a token of his loyalty. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I... Yeah, no, I don't even have 500 silver, so... We're gonna have to turn you down, Mr. Armourer Man. We do not have the silver to actually do anything with that. That's a real shame. But, oh, there we go. Solar Flare's done. That was a, a rather short Solar Flare. Rather nice. Hopefully this indoors didn't get too warm and our freezer is back to freezing temperatures. So we are not going to hopefully not suffer from any food spoilage. Not that that should really matter at the moment. I think we are. We have more than enough food to really last us. This, these crops down here, they are they are bountiful. They are providing us with more than enough food for our fledgling settlement. Well, slowly but surely, that left wall, that western wall, is getting built up. Hopefully, we will get this perimeter wall done. Come on. I've been saying it for so long. I really want this to be our proper tight little compound. But, but no, what's holding us back at the moment, what the limiting factor is, is we do not have any slate blocks whatsoever. But we have an awful lot of slate chunks, so... Let's have a quick look in the work tab and see if we can get someone to actually work on these slate chunks and create them into the lovely slate blocks that we are going to make our castle out of. Let's have a look. Where, where is craft? So Wilson is set to construct before craft. I think we will change that around. He can, yes, so now I have noticed he has been, he's been making the slate blocks and then he's been heading off to actually construct them. I think we've got enough people actually working on construction at the moment that he can kind of be our dedicated, dedicated crafter. He can, he can do all of that whilst Beck and Theodore and Stanley and Rose actually go around and build up. And that's another thing that I've just thought of as well. I have done the, well, not particularly foolish. I love this color scheme. I love the slate walls and marble floors, but that is probably about the worst way I could have done it. Slate is the weakest out of all of the stone, I believe. It, yeah, it doesn't provide as much protection as any of the other stones. But marble is the prettiest, so I thought having marble floors would make all of our rooms beautiful. But... Turns out that that only affects walls that the rooms are built out of, so the floor doesn't really change between which block that you use. I think it's just got a base beauty of one. So I have done this completely the wrong way round, and <laughs> yeah, this this is this is bad rim world design. This is this is not brilliant, but I mean, it seems to be working for us at the moment, and a lot of these rooms are considered okay. I mean, Beck's bedroom is now decent. Did she get a better bed? Well, her bed is now good. There must be some kind of things that we can do to improve some of this stuff. I really do want to get this common room done, but once again, we are waiting on resources to be able to do that. We need this cotton. We need this cotton to basically grow, and then we can harvest it. Then we can turn it into cloth. Then we can turn that cloth and... With a little bit of wood as well, we can turn that into a pool or a snooker table. We can put some cloth down. Oh, another thing as well, I have now added the hospitality mod. I thought I had that from the beginning. Turns out I didn't. We've got that now. So hopefully when visitors come, we should be able to work on that kind of inn that I wanted. And I, I do think that I'm going to place it right over here because that looks like the perfect place for an inn just outside the main castle gate. So yes, we're going to get the in place there now that we've actually got the mod that should be kind of useful and we've got these uh 
We've got these hops and all of that, which we are going to turn into beer. Although I don't think we can actually, uh, actually do anything with that yet. We've got 472 in there, but we've got no way of turning them into anything useful. So let's have a quick look at production and see if we can figure out what we need. I might just place down a crafting spot in here uh that yes i'll place a crafting spot down in here and what we can do is we can create a bill to make cigarillos is that what tobacco goes into i'm assuming let's have a quick look we need 20 tobacco to make four cigarillos so yes let's do that and we will do that forever there we go. So now we are actually going to have cigarettes for our colonists. So that will provide a little bit of a mood boost, hopefully. But Wilson, we don't really want you doing that now. We want you to prioritize making these stone blocks. We need these stone blocks. Look how close we are. We are so close, but we are still not quite there. And there we go. A group of travelers from the Unified Union have decided they're going to swing by and see the progress of this castle that they have obviously heard so much about. I think we had one guy escape once, Rodian. Yes, he he was a raider quite a few episodes ago. The same episode that we got Stanley, I believe. Ripley Stanley. Stanley the girl. Yep. No, he obviously escaped and spread news of our wealth and our fantastic giant castle thing that's not even built yet but it is getting very close to being finished look there's barely anything left honestly i am going to be so happy when this is done because i feel like that's going to be a big milestone and i know i started talking at the beginning of this episode about we really need to focus on um dice's grace which we obviously have not done this episode yet but that's because we've we've not really got the resources we need we need the silver we need to get silver in order to make that better and our research hasn't gone an awful long way either but oh well i'm sure we will get cracking on with some more research tomorrow well wilson has been hard at work as always he is our hard-working android yes he has created a rather large amount of slate box over the night so hopefully that means that this tiny last little bit will actually get finished He also appears to have made quite a few cigarillos as well. So our colonists can obviously go in and have those when they're feeling a little bit down and, and depressed. And, you know, they just want to, to spark up a cigarillo and just sit back and enjoy, enjoy the desert heat. It is getting very, very, very hot. Oh, and would you look at that? It is finally done. The perimeter wall in all of its glory, the castle the Castle of Beck is completed. Castle Beck is there and fully, fully completed. Well, the, the outside structure is fully completed. We still have these rather disgusting <laughs> sandy rooms, which I think that will be the focus of a future episode because that is all the time I have for now. But if you have enjoyed this video, why not go down and give it a like? And if you have really enjoyed it and want to keep up with my content, please do subscribe to the channel. But I have been Carnassa Games and I will see you later.